So this lecture is on Desiderius Erasmus of Rotterdam, the famous reformer, and more specifically on his educational philosophy. So Erasmus was born in the 1460s, either 1466 or 1469, depending on the source, and he wrote a number of things as he worked as a reformer within the Catholic Church at the same time that Luther and Zwingli and others are acting outside the Catholic Church. So he did satires like Praise of Folly, theological tracts like on free will. He did a lot of work on the original language versions of the Bible, gathering together texts and uh, collecting classical uh, information. He also did instructional tracts like the Handbook of the Christian Knight, all of which were designed to help people develop better character and to reform the institutions of the Catholic Church. But we're going to focus on his philosophy of education. So for Erasmus, the goal of education was Christian virtue. So this is an emphasis on how we could start at the center with Christ, go outwards towards the clergy who most directly study the work of Christ, moving from that onto the nobles, the princes, the kings, the leaders in government, who would take the precepts of the church and bring them to the common people. Throughout all of this, they needed to cultivate virtue, and so education's primary purpose was to develop virtue that could spread out, radiating out from Christ, from Scripture, to the commoner, to every aspect of his life. In order to achieve this, the uh, nobility and even the commoners needed to be well-read. They needed to know the classical texts, even the texts of the pagans, so that they could dis, uh, pull from them truths which could be applied to a variety of circumstances. This got into how his pedagogy, his science of instruction, worked. Erasmus had been uh, raised uh, and went to the University of Paris, where he encountered scholastic teaching, which was a very detailed back-and-forth um, sort of debate on really minor points. The old adage, how many angels dance on the head of a pin, came out of this movement in sort of a mockery of the system that Aquinas had um, been so effective in and really pioneered. <clears throat> For Erasmus, he wanted a more individualized education. He wanted the students not to be indoctrinated and then uh, quibble over details, but to read broadly of the classics. And he wanted each individual student to demonstrate uh, knowledge and early application of differentiation of instruction. He believed that children could learn at a much earlier age than some of his peers. He thought that they could start learning grammar and fables at an early age before, at around the age of seven, moving on to um, learning higher um, and more formal truths from the classics. He wrote a lot of this down in his uh, Education of the Christian Prince, which was originally uh, written as an application for him to tutor Charles V, uh, pictured here. And uh, in that work, he really laid out how he was going to make a prince who was going to be loved by his people, who was going to be virtuous, and who was going to be well-read in those classics, 